Hey guys, welcome back to the Autohan. So today we are filming this amazing 1999 35th anniversary Mustang GT. This one is finished off in silver. It's one of 378 in the five-speed configuration. This car is 260 horsepower and 306 foot-pounds of torque. So it pulls pretty heavy off the line. Like I said, it's a five-speed. Um, and here's the real kicker. It's only got 13,500 miles. A 23-year-old car with 13,500 miles. Think of that. This thing is a time capsule. If you put this in a Ford dealership right now, you could sell it for almost a new car. It looks spotless. It is spotless. So we're going to go do a full tour of the car and then at that point we're going to go out and go for a quick ride. This has a few special features, including the honeycomb grill down here in the bottom and also the uh, non-functional honeycomb fake grill at the top. You can look down the side of the car, right down there, and on both sides it has a fake inlet for the honeycomb grill. Also, it has the really cool five-spoke wheels. I love these wheels. I think Mustang really should have done more of these type of wheels, but this is pretty much a nice custom car. Take a look here, this is the 35th anniversary badge. And coming up from the side of the car, just look how beautiful it is. It's flawless. It's got the nice little mud flaps on it, and he's also got the tonneau cover on the car. So when you look at a car like this and you say, wow, what's it worth? Well, I don't know, but I can tell you with 13,000 miles, I'd buy this thing in a heartbeat. You can see that uh, little honeycomb right in here, little accents where it says Mustang, of course, on the back with the twin tip exhaust. Coming around on the other side, it has the full roll bar on it, so you can bring this on a track. And again, the 35th anniversary here. Check out this intake for the throttle body right here. You can see how nicely it finishes off the engine. Now they didn't do a lot of plastics on the top of the engine, but they did make the engine look fairly neat. Um, this is before plastic was really a thing in engine covers and whatnot. So you could really get at everything and be able to work on this car. So you can see how clean the engine is, even in the back against the firewall. Everything is spotless. Everything is original with the exception of this piece right here. So that is the underhood of the vehicle. <laughs> so here's the trunk of the car and the owner has the original 35th anniversary Mustang model, the Mustang Chronicle, reborn to run on a CD, 3D C, uh, uh, disc set, which I think is amazing. And there's also a letter welcoming the buyer to the Ford family. So this is in the original Ford box as you can see, with the Mustang logo on the top. It said Ford Mustang Program Headquarters, and they're on Halo Ave in Troy, Michigan. So they went, they bought the car right at Ford, and they designed it with them. So this is a full custom spec car. Again, one of 378 in the world uh, in the five-speed configuration. So now we're gonna get inside the car and check it out. On the door panel, you can see where the window switches are, of course, here and here. So windows up, down, you can lock the windows, unlock the car, and of course, the uh, mirror adjustment. These cars didn't have a lot of features in the 1990s. More features came in on the newer cars, of course, and they're kind of more creature comforts. However, this is pretty much specced out the way it would have been. Look at the interior, the seats are black over silver with the Mustang on here. It has the tonneau cover, which is painted to match the color of the car. It does have a very small back seat, which I will not get into. And you can see down here on the floor, Ford Mustang 35th anniversary. So Ford decided to put the seat adjustment in the very front of the seat to adjust it, push it forward, backward, up, or down has lumbar support and the um, looks like an inflator in the back for your uh, actual lo lower back over here you have some lights you can set the parking brake and it has a nice um, the cigarette lighter right here and this piece comes up right here is the center console it's pretty deep it's got a little golf ball in there hey okay, I love golf and over here look at that that says Classic Design Concepts Incorporated. So getting into the car. 
Oh my God, these seats are so comfortable. Wow. So here's the dashboard that says 35th anniversary on it with the uh, looks to be a silverish white finish. Very nice. It has both the cassette and the CD player uh, out of two separate areas. And another cigarette lighter adapter. It also has a um, glove box, which is fairly small, but nice and usable. So let's go over the features of the, of the car a little bit more. So taking a quick tour of the gauges on the dashboard. On the left side, of course, you have the engine fuel, the temperature, the speedometer, the tachometer, the voltage, and of course the oil pressure. Uh, down below, you have all of your little warning lights. On this side over here, here's your rear defogger, and these are your lights. Pull them out, push them in. Pretty straightforward. Uh, over here behind the steering wheel, you have your windshield wipers and your directionals. And this little button right here pushes the seat, the uh, steering wheel up and push the steering wheel down. Over here is the key. So when you take the key out, you have to push this button right here. Push that and the key comes right out. Over here, we have very simple, easy to use climate controls. Hot, low to high, cold to hot. AC, floor, mix, whatnot. So all of that is very standard. You look at this car and you say, okay, this is really, really nice. It's, remember, this is a 2000 or 1999 car. They still haven't come to full fruition when it came to building cars out with extra luxuries on it that we're used to today with Bluetooth and all that. Uh, to, over here, you get the little reading lamps that turn on and off underneath the um, light and the dashboard or the um, these right here. The sun visors, both of them have mirrors with lights on them. That is the inside tour of this car. I gotta tell you, the seats I'm in love with. They're so comfortable. This plaque is from Ford. Uh, it tells you all about the VIN number, who it was built for, why it was built, where it was built, the day and the time the build sheet was issued on 6-14-99, and it was assembled uh, and completed on 6-15-99. It took them one day to build this car, whereas I'm waiting months for my car from Ford, but I won't get into that. Uh, this is the V8 4.6 liter, 281 cubic inch engine, and it is um, quite the powerhouse. So if you take a look again, there are only 378 five-speed convertible silver ones in the world. Very special car. So this is an exact replica model of the 35th anniversary, including the silver seats. It's still in the original plastic, so I'm not going to unwrap it. Uh, a lot of people will be tempted, oh yeah, let's just take it off. There's no way I'm gonna unwrap this. It looks too nice. So this is a collector's item, and when the owner does eventually sell the car, it's certainly gonna command a higher premium because he has all of this stuff in the original packaging. And away we go. So this is my first time driving the car. I probably will stall it the very first time because I haven't driven a stick shift in like three weeks. And I'm gonna put the, uh, thank you. Co-pilot. So I have the um, owner of the car with me right now. Uh, he's not gonna get on camera, just, well, you know, <laughs> camera shy. But um, Mike, can you tell me a bit about the car? Well, I bought it uh, five years ago from a friend uh, who was selling his grandfather's car collection, so I bought it with 8,000 miles, and I typically put, you know, less than a thousand a year on it. So I'm just holding on to it forever. It's never been in the rain. I love Mustangs. I had one when I graduated high school, and fortunately ruined it. So I have a baby this one, and uh, take care of it forever. <laughs> well, I can certainly understand that a car with only 13,000 miles, especially that's 24 years old, is pretty impressive. So. My initial impressions of the car, it drives like an early, you know, late 90s, early 2000s car. It has good feel to it. The, the stick shift is amazing. It is so nice. It's got the nice chrome shifter, which was an um, option for these cars for the 35th anniversary. So whoever built it, they did it right. And it just, it feels solid. It feels really robust and easy to drive. Uh, the clutch is, doesn't hang up at all. It's a little high. 
but that is a Ford thing. And wow, listen to that engine. That's hot. Oh, that V8. I waste so much gas. <laughs> I just drive around in the second and third gear all day long. That V8 is amazing. That is so soft and buttery smooth, and you can hear everything in it. Um, driving a convertible um, to do a video review sometimes doesn't work, so I'm just going to put this top, these windows up, get a little bit of wind buffeting. There we go. That sounds a little bit better. Um, wow. I, I will say it again and again, these cars are super, super nice. There is something about a V8 engine. Um, I don't drive a lot of V8s um, and they're special cars because they're going to be going the way of the dinosaur, you know, with all electric cars coming out. But boy, is this thing fun. It corners nicely. Um, take it easy over these little crazy bumps here because where we live, uh, the um, the roads aren't the best around here, are they, Mike? No, no. They're improving, but they're still not good. Yeah, hopefully they'll get them to the point where we can drive our cars and not feel like we're beating the crap out of them. We're also on the back roads. True. <laughs> um, I will say that it is, it's solid. It's got a little bit of body roll. And you could definitely feel the brakes. My God, those are strong. I just tapped the brake right there for a second. I thought I was going to go through the windshield. That's a strong brake. Really solid. So, on the corners. Let's talk about corners here for a second. The car handles nice. It is a big V8, so there's more weight up front, and you can certainly feel the bias toward the front of the car than the back of the car. It's probably 65-35. Uh, has a definite growl to it when you drive it. And it's got a strong clutch. This car is made to go. Um, you can hear everybody else on the road, and this car is just throaty and growly and vicious. I can't wait to get it up on the highway. Your overall impression from when you bought the car to now, has it changed? Uh, no, I, I, I love it just as much. And uh, now that I got some, I had the original tires on it. About a month ago, I got new tires. They just got a little bit crack on the edge, but it, now I love it even more because now it handles much better. And not, it doesn't feel as uh, hairy on the corners, so. That's I've a, always loved Mustangs. So. That's a good thing. Yeah. Harry on corners is bad. Yeah. Uh, at least that's what I've realized. Um, but I've it's never been, I don't drive it in the rain, so it, it's always dry pavement, but uh, wow. that helps, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you, you know, I was saying it on the video introduction earlier, Mike, and, and what I think is super important is that if you were to sell this car, you would get such a premium on it because it has everything with it. It's the original everything, with the exception of the tires and the um, intake. And, and that even with the intake, it looks so nice. It's really clean, it's super buttoned up. Yeah, I try to take good care of it. If I did uh, ever get rid of it, which I haven't really thought much about it, it would be for my favorite car, Corvette uh, Z06, oh, if anybody's you're... looking to trade. <laughs> If anybody's looking to trade Mike, um, <laughs> send me a direct message. Obviously, be a little bit of cash involved, but... Uh, you never know. These cars have come up so much in value, especially the ones with such low mileage. 13,768 miles on this car right here. That's brand new. It drives like a new car. It feels like a new car. Um, it it corners. It's super nice. I, I'm so thrilled with it. And I, I can't thank you again for letting me drive it this is so amazing oh, my pleasure and you, you got auto hound got me hooked at the car show so <laughs> here i am doing a car show car uh, video so if anybody wants to do a review with the auto hound i am more than happy to get in your car and have some fun with it with you i'll go for a ride and you can tell me all about your car and tell me your car story because i'll tell you that's what this is all about it's all about building a community uh, and so Let's see what it has under the hood. 
back it down a little here. Take the bad time to get on it with all this traffic. Yeah. <laughs> is it okay? Is it okay to? Uh, oh yeah, do whatever you want. Push. You can, can drop it a little harder too if you want. Wow. This is so nice. It feels it's not as technical and fancy. <laughs> it feels so nice. There is nothing about this car I would change. It's so incredibly smooth. You, you, the seats are the most comfortable seats I've ever been in for a sports car. Uh, now today's sports cars, you get in them. You drove my car, and yeah, this, the seats are as hard as rocks. Yeah, but they're air conditioned. This is true. They are air conditioned. <laughs> These are not air conditioned, <laughs> um, but they're super comfortable. Um, so, overall impressions after driving the car now for a little bit, I will say I love it and I kind of want one now. And that's the problem of my life is I want too many cars and never buy them. You have to build a bigger garage. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> um, so, we're going to do one more hard pull here. Yeah, that's awfully nice. It's the Mustang feel. That is so nice. And it handles incredibly well. And it, as you get up higher speeds, I've noticed the car feels like it hunches down a little bit and gives you a much better, more tactile feeling. Um, and you can hear that engine burble and just, oh, amazing. So this has been the Auto Hound. If you like this type of content, please make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. And remember, it's about the drive.